This may look like a normal old seaplane. It's anything but, and it's making history. The world's first test of a fully electric plane that doesn't emit any carbon emissions, very much dependent on clear skies. The pilot, also the head of the airline, who successfully resisted the winds and the nervous anticipation of those watching, despite a charging glitch the night before. I uh, got behind the controls of the airplane. I'm focused on getting the flight done. Um, you know, yeah, I saw people out of the corner of my eye, but it wasn't the focus for me. So it was all sort of business as usual. Only this business is completely unfamiliar. Harbor Air is aiming to become the world's first all-electric airline, a crowded race to green an industry where emissions are rising faster than all other modes of transport. These few minutes in the air took months of hard work, ripping out its mid-20th century guts and replacing its old motor with an electric one, adding big, rechargeable batteries. The plane still weighs as much as if it were loaded with fuel, and its new motor only has enough battery charge for a short flight. That's why it works for the seaplane company that makes short hops into cities near Vancouver. The man whose company designed the motor knows there's a long road ahead, but he wants the electric planes in the air in the next two years. This is the first time this propulsion system flew on this aircraft. What the regulatory body will want to see is that this happens all the time consistently. What happens when things go wrong? The certification process will be bumpy, with Transport Canada entering brand new territory. There will be many more test flights before passengers can also hop aboard a fully electric plane. Salima Shipji, CBC News, Richmond, B.C.